Hey guys, welcome to Des Logic. I welcome you on my channel. Uh, this is gonna be the first video of the playlist that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. As you guys probably know that Adobe has released uh, Adobe Illustrator on iPad a couple of months ago. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, as you can see, I have already opened the App Store on my iPad. And uh, from here, let's search Adobe Illustrator. Here we go. Uh, as you can see, I am having the open option because I have already purchased and uh, installed this app on my iPad. If you are new, uh, then uh, you will see the buy option. For your information, um, this application is paid and you have to buy a monthly subscription for it from Adobe. If you guys are interested in pricing and subscription of this application, uh, I will put a link in the description. You can check out from there. So for now, let's open it. So this is a sign in, sign up kind of screen and uh, you can uh, sign in with any of these platforms. As I have already uh, created the Adobe ID, so I will continue with the Adobe ID. So here I will put my credentials, so I am skipping this part. So guys, we are inside our application. This is a, uh, you know, home screen of the application and here you will find your recent projects and some customized settings. On the left side, you are seeing some tabs. The first one is the home tab as we are on the home tab right now. The second one is your work tab. Uh, this is the cloud manager and uh, it's, it will manage your files across all platforms. If you are using Adobe Illustrator on uh, your desktop. The next one is the learn tab. Uh, this is a hands-on tutorial and video tutorial library. You can check it out by yourself. The next one is the Discover tab. The Discover tab contains live streams and some featured projects from some very, you know, top designers. So on the bottom left corner, uh, you will see a create new option to create a project right from scratch. And uh, the next one is the import and open option. If you want to import any project that you have uh, created on the desktop, and you want to open it on your iPad. So it will help you out. Uh, on the top right corner, here is an avatar. Uh, you will see a couple of options here too. Uh, these are the app settings and you can change the app experience uh, from here. If you want to change the color theme, the toolbar and uh, toolbar position, the inputs, the units, and some couple of options. So for now, I want to create a new project, a new workspace uh, right from scratch. So I am continuing with the create new option. So guys, on the left side, you will see some presets and on the right side, uh, you can create your own project with your own sizings. Um, so for now, I am creating a new workspace uh, with my own sizing. So uh, let's rename it as test. Units will be uh, pixels, uh, width will be 1920 and uh, height will be 1080. I'll leave it as it is. Orientation, portrait and um, artboard will be single and uh, color mode will be RGB. You can save all these settings for future use by tapping on the save this size checkbox. But for now, I am creating this file. So guys, we are inside our workspace. On the left side, you have your toolbars. On the right side, you have your panel. And on the top, you will see the project name, the zoom percentage, and some couple of settings. Uh, I will walk through all these uh, toolbar panels and settings in my upcoming videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. 
So that's it for today guys, I hope you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.